Hey everyone, this is Blake with Worn and Wound, and today we have in for review the Archimede Pilot Bronze. Um, we're really excited to have this watch in. Um, it's obviously by Archimede, the company really known for making uh, pilot watches. Um, and what makes it stand out, obviously, is that it's got this really beautiful bronze case. Um, it's the only bronze pilot watch that we're aware of on the market. Um, and it's $700 US shipped uh, from Archimede. You know, we think for the, it's a tremendous value given, you know, the build quality, um, you know, the aesthetic and sort of the finishing on the, on the watch, generally speaking. Um, so let's take a closer look. All right, so taking a closer look at the case of the bronze pilot, um, as you can see, it is a very simple case, um, really not taking anything away from the very traditional sterile pilot aesthetic. Um, you know, it's got a simple 42 millimeter wide case, the 51 millimeter lug to lug, uh, and it measures 9.9 .9 millimeters tall. Um, it's got a very nice, uh, obviously, brushed finishing throughout, and you know, obviously, the standout feature here is that it is a bronze case. So. When you first receive the watch, it's going to have a bit of a luster to it, um, you know, somewhat reminiscent of rose gold, but obviously much more muted than that. And then over time, this case is actually going to oxidize, and you're going to get some, you know, darker coloration on it. Um, and what that oxidization actually does is it's protecting the, the bra uh, bronze case even further from additional corrosion. <clears throat> so as we make our way around the watch, you can see from the side, it's got a really nice slender profile. Again, no complicated finishing on the side, just brushed throughout you know, very simple side casing. You have here this large onion crown that measures uh, eight millimeters in diameter, um, obviously with the Archimede logo here. Um, it's a non-screw down crown. Um, and then as you make your way to the back, you'll see that we have a stainless steel case back. Um, they've designed the watch with the intention of having the least amount of bronze actually touching your skin. This is not our experience wearing the watch, but from what I understand is the case does oxidize. Um, it may leave some marking on your, on your wrist um, sort of as the, as the case discolors. Uh, but again, they've sort of minimized the amount of bronze that's actually touching your wrist. Um, and I think that, you know, you've got this nice display case here. I think the, you know, the, the stainless steel plays well with the bronze. Um, and just generally speaking, just been very impressed with, uh, the finishing and the feel of the watch. You know, uh, this obviously comes from the Eichler family factor in Germany. It's a German made watch with a Swiss made at a 2824-2 movement inside. So really just a very quality feel, uh, very well finished, um, as you'd expect from the company. So as we mentioned at the top of the review, uh, the Mark Mini Bronze Pilot comes in two versions. It comes in the 42 and the 42H. And what sets the 42H apart from the 42 are a few things, all of which take place on the dial. Um, so as you can see here, we have a very sterile, uh, traditional pilot dial with no markings, aside from obviously the, you know, the hour and minute indicators. Um, on the 42 model, you have an Archimedes logo, uh, and it says the word automatic down at six o'clock, and there's also a date window uh, around five o'clock. Um, I much prefer the sterile dial. I think it's sort of true to the pilot aesthetic, true to sort of the tradition of pilot watches. Um, and I think especially um, as this watch wears as the, as the bronze um, material uh, oxidizes and sort of changes and evolves and sort of develops a much more sort of vintage, worn, feeling to it, I think it's going to play well with the very traditional dial. Um, the other thing you'll notice here is they have C3 Luminova throughout uh, with sort of a yellowish tinge to it. This is on the hands as well as the hour and minute markers. Again, I think that that provides a little bit more of a, a vintage, uh, worn feeling to the watch that's going to play very well with the bronze over time. You have, um, you have blued steel uh, sword style pilot hands here um, that again, if you can see in the camera, uh, have a nice blue color to them. Um, that play well off of the black dial. You do have an option of getting black hands on this watch as well, but again, I think, you know, the blue steel hands are just very, you know, appropriate for this style of watch. Um, and then you have the, the needle second hand obviously rotating. Um, just generally speaking, it's a very traditional pilot dial. I think that, you know, you have some options here as sort of, you know, what hands to use, and obviously you can pick to get the 42 or the 42H model, but I think that this model in particular is really um, the most sensible. It makes, it sort of plays the most appropriately with the idea of sort of a classic pilot style. And again, I think over time as this case evolves and sort of brings on some character and some vintage feel to it, it's gonna really be the most appropriate. All right, so taking a closer look at the bronze pilot on the wrist, um, it sits quite comfortably at 42 millimeters on diameter with a 51 millimeter lug to lug. I have a seven and a half inch wrist thereabouts in it. You know, I found it very comfortable to wear. Um, I think that's aided uh, in part by the height of the watch, which is quite thin at 9.9 uh, .9 millimeters. Um, but one thing I will point out is this onion crown 
protrudes about four and a half millimeters. And with that added width, you know, you do notice it and it does definitely kind of poke into your hand a little bit. Um, again, I think that's something that's going to be pretty common with pilot watches, especially considering that, that some will, will, you know, stretch up to 43, 44 millimeters just in the case alone. So, um, I think if you're in the market for a pilot, you're going to find that with most. Um, but again, generally speaking, I found this very comfortable to wear. Um, you can see here, it comes in this very nice uh, black leather strap. You have your choice of straps. Um, you can choose from a black leather, a uh, light brown or a dark brown. We chose to uh, review it on this black leather strap, which between by playing with you know the bronze here and the bronze hardware on the outside, it definitely takes on a much warmer character. Almost you know to my eyes when I first saw it, it almost looked like a chocolate brown, a really dark chocolate brown. Um, but I think it wears really nicely. And then here you can see on the back of my wrist. Um, optional with this watch is the bronze hardware. It does come standard with uh, just stainless steel hardware. But I think. Um, for the 30 extra euros or 25 euros, if you're in America, um, it costs to get this. It's a no-brainer. Just it completes the package, and I really think it's you know almost a must-have uh, with this watch. So now I just wanted to show you what the bronze pilot looks like on a, a NATO strap. We have it here paired with a Maritac, you know, military green strap, and it just looks perfect. You know, the military green pairs so well with that classic you know, pilot aesthetic. And I think that, you know, the goldish bronze uh, pairs really well with the green color. And over time, I think, you know, as this sort of patinas and develops some character, it's just going to look so appropriate on this, you know, rugged uh, uh, NATO watch strap. Um, the one downside to this, obviously, is that it doesn't have bronze hardware. Uh, but even without that, I think that it, it's a great pairing. So to conclude my thoughts on the Archimedes Bronze Pilot 42H, um, I think that based on its finishing, its quality build and quality components, you know, it warrants the $700 price tag, you know, right there. Um, then if you add on top of that, just the fact that it's got this beautiful bronze case that is incredibly unique in and of itself, because as far as we can tell, there aren't any other bronze pilots on the market. But that also over time, the watch is going to patina and develop a character all its own, really making this watch, you know, unique to yourself in a way that a lot of other watches, you know, just never will be. Um, and for those reasons, we really think that the $700 price tag, again, makes this watch a pretty tremendous value. You know, Archimedes has a, has a reputation for making outstanding pilot watches. And in our experience, you know, this bronze pilot is, you know, lives up to that expectation in every way. Um, so thanks so much for watching the video review. Don't forget to check the full written review out on warnerwound.com. And you can follow us on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram.